Welcome back to our Midday Makeover. Today I'm joined here with Mike Wayne from Shimon Canal. Thanks so much for coming in. So Mike, if you're like me and you haven't started filing your taxes yet, you know, where do you even start? Well, this, this is a really good time. By now, you should have just about everything that you need. W-2s, bank statements, interest statements. So the best thing to do is to sit back and get organized. Make sure that you've got everything because a lot of times people overlook um, uh, deductions that they may be able to take, credits that they're eligible for, and some of it is because they're just in such a rush to get it done, whether it's because the April 15th deadline is coming or you just want that refund back. So get organized and understand a little bit about um, where you are and what you should do. So. Along with that should come looking at all of the deductions that are out there. I mean, no one knows your personal situation better than you. Take a few minutes and go through an IRS um, website page of deductions that are out there just to see if any of them qualify, what's changed from year to year. And the same thing holds true with tax credits. I mean, a credit is a great thing because it actually knocks down the amount of taxes that you're due. You, you really wanna make sure that you don't leave anything on the table just because you don't understand it or, or you're not familiar with it. And then how as an individual do you decide what's the best way to go about filing, whether it's online with a free service or going to a tax professional? Well, it's certainly a lot of it has to do with your comfort level. Some people are just really, really scared by this whole tax situation. So maybe you maybe you purchase an online software package, or maybe you go to a tax professional. Usually, you'll find that they'll find more things than you will if you're just kind of sitting there and flying by the seat of your pants with the the first couple of times that you've done it. So it never hurts to actually seek out professional assistance again through a software package or a professional. Great. And then Mike, you know, around this time we always see we always hear about tax scams. You know, how do you know what to look out for, you know, what they are if you're being scammed? Well, that's a great point. Well, first of all, the IRS says that they will never send you an unsolicited email looking for information. So there's an awful lot of IRS email phishing scams out there. And you're here a lot, maybe not quite this time of the year, but in another couple of months about IRS collection fake collection calls where they call on the phone and they demand, they tell you they're gonna send somebody out and have you arrested if you don't pay up a delinquent amount. Most of the time, it certainly is nothing that you've ever heard of before. So, But people get scared. It's the IRS, they're a little fearful of that. None of those things are, are, um, are true. The IRS says that they will only contact you through um, written correspondence through the US Post Office. So ignore those uh, emails and, and um, uh, angry calls. <laughs> Great, good to know. All right, Mike, well, thanks so much for coming in. And as always, we'll put all of these tips from Shimon Canal on our website, wenycom